So here we can give the old clothes which we have got for stitching, restitching into a bag. Um, on behalf of Akshay Garpa, we, we heartily welcome you to our uh, research and development center. So this is what you see, the 24 acre campus where you know where our uh, major production area lies and also this place that you are standing now is currently our farm area and this is our major research and development center. So we are going to make an organic cake in the traditional way using firewood and mud utensils for our dear fathers using Akshay Kalpa items, coconut shells. So this is the way we are going to make them. They are giving us all these ingredients. To make the organic natural cake, mix together butter or ghee 150 grams, jaggery 200 grams, wheat flour 200 grams, carrot gratings 2 tablespoons, dry fruits 1 tablespoon, baking powder 1 fourth teaspoon and baking soda 1 fourth teaspoon. Mix all the ingredients in a dish. Grease the coconut shells. Pour the batter till half full in the coconut shell. Cook in an earthen pot covered with lid on high natural heat for 20 minutes. We can regulate the heat also. Our organically cooked natural cake is now ready. Just taking a stroll into the inner sides of the farm. There are no roads inside. Thick vegetation. Making a souvenir for da Father's Day. This is a small bouquet for Daddy, which we got from the farm produce. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We are at the vegetable garden area. So this system is called riser bed technology. Hmm. You can see here the riser bed technology. The advantage is here uh, we need less labor and uh, the nutrient losses, soil losses will not be there. And drainage will be good. This is the composting area.
honey so this is the propolis that i have taken This is for disinfecting our leg. This uh, solution. We are co coming for cow petting and uh, seeing them getting milked. So here are the cows and whatever uh, their excreta gets into that channel and they just uh, spray water in it so that it goes down then it goes to the gober gas channel and as they just informed in the session 24 hours this fodder is there in front of the cow they said each cow eats about 40 kilos of uh, fodder and uh, the akshay kalpa fodder is a mixture of five uh, uh, items which is very good for the health of the cow in terms of proteins and minerals they add mustard cakes jaggery and grass and stuff which is jersey and which one is it? black and white black and white this is all the cows have come for milking now Hearing twice and a milking will happen. Early morning 4.32 to 5, evening 4.32 to 5, okay? It's a daily routine for them, okay? Uh, so what about seven elements will be needed at a time in seven to ten minutes with the help of milking machine. Uh, they have fixed a vacuum pressure at 72 380 mm. It's like natural cast reflex. It's like, uh, like based on the vacuum pressure, okay? What happens? First, they will wash with the cleanser and to avoid the entry of bacteria inside the meat. At, uh, they will do pre dipped coating because what happens at the time of milking, half an hour to one hour, the teeth filter will be open. Right? So, what happens after milking, the animal will sit whenever, uh, wherever they want. No? Sometimes, what happens, the, the duck will enter inside. So, that time, there will be infection for the other. Three animals feeding will be taken for the quantity measurement. Uh, those two are the mason class, and this one is separate bucket milking. <laughs> and the entire milk is collected there and after that they will be here and go to the chilling center. We are applying uh, medicine to the water so that they don't get infected. So mechanized milking process. You can see the milk in the pipes. Touch it, touch it. Ew, it's
we have paneer burji and yummy tea for snacks it's very very tasty paneer and the tea is also very creamy and nice We have come to the canteen for dinner now. So this is the canteen here. We have ghee, rasam, red rice, dal, dosa, chutney. A lot of dosas are getting made. With so many tents pitched up here. See that. Number 14 is our sir, no? These are the common restrooms provided for bathing and uh, bathroom purposes. They're pretty big. And as of now, it looks clean also, but it's just that it's a shared service. We don't have a separate bathroom for each tent. I think uh, there are about four or five such bathrooms for about uh, 12 to 15 people. So this is our tent. Yeah. Let's go inside and check it out. Ooh. It's a double tent. Is it nice? Yeah. 